previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Baldi. <laughs> he is lost to me. The forge is destroyed. Because of him! She's talking about me. I mean it this time, man. When we get out of here, I'm out. I need you to respect that. This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I should have never listened to him. To do. My family will be proud, and I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. lost our tape deck too. I was devastated about that before Drax. <laughs> oh man. Everything's gone all to hell. This is going to be the most depressing episode ever. Unless my initial theory at the beginning of the game is correct and we just go back in time and none of this happened. I kind of let go of that idea a little bit. But now I'm thinking that's that's our only hope for happiness. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Yeah. Uh. Next up, is your Kodak's uh. device making you sick? A new study. Eight or nine rounds. Uh, then we find hot. Oh we have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. Earlier today, reports came in of a deformed monster rampaging across the galaxy, attacking planets at random. It appeared as if the creature was able to draw life out of innocent bystanders without even touching them. Your time is up, Star-Lord. <laughs> I will hunt you down to the ends of the galaxy. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you anywhere. Death is coming, Peter Quill. Hey, Rocket, you think she's talking about me? Holy crap. I can't believe the team just ditched us when we've got this planet nuking lady to deal with. Perfect timing. Now we gotta deal with Hala as a death monster with a gun that can blow a hole in a planet. This is on our own. Dots. It's like, couldn't they have waited until after we saved the galaxy? Worst timing ever. Guardian's gone. Drax dead. And Hala just seems to be getting stronger. Yeah, the last couple of days have gone from being a pile of crap to a pile of crap on fire. I agree. <sighs> but even with all that, just want you to know, I believe in you, man. Oh, thanks, Rocket. I mean, you always figure something out. That's why I stuck around. I can't blame a guy like you for trying. Thanks, Rocket. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta believe in something. And you're the closest thing to me right now. There's only one way we can stop her. We need to get the Guardians back together. Hell yeah. Peter! We have to get the Guardians back together! Well, this is easy. Groot? What are you doing here? I am Groot! Oh, they're already ahead of you. Don't worry. I'm way ahead of you on that one. I am Groot! Oh no. This is worse than I thought. I could sense that remnants of the Forge still existed. They must be 
inside of Hala. It appears where the Forge granted life. Hala can now take it. With every life she claims, she'll gain more power. We're doomed. Are you friggin' kidding me? I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh, great. This just keeps getting better and better. There's nothing better about this. I'm drunk. The Eternity Forge is highly unstable. It would be extremely toxic to Hala. It's likely that she needs to kill to keep herself alive. So you're saying if she stopped killing people... The Forge would consume her. I am Groot. But you have seen what she has become. Hala is too powerful a foe for the Guardians to take on. Hmm. Yeah, not with that attitude. Well, we're certainly not going to beat her with that kind of attitude. Oh, well, I'm sorry it's hard for me to be positive when I can feel every person that Hala murders. Well, wow, look how sassy she's gotten. But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. No, we didn't. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. We just... Well, that's not true. Oh, whoa, whoa, Mantis, that's not true at all. Right? We just argued sometimes. Oh, it... out here. Look, Mantis, you didn't see us at our best. I am Groot. Wait, you want to do what? Groot wants to show us something. Hmm. I'm down. Can I click anything else though? Just a okay. Now this should be interesting. tree duo out there yes who were scanned and id'd by several bystanders <laughs> yes and caught red-handed i'm telling you i just got one of those faces that looks we're framed see I am Groot. yes yes we know who you are forget oh. <laughs> it Groot. these bucket heads can't understand you <laughs> don't worry i know how to handle this as soon as they lock us up i'm gonna go up to the biggest baddest dude in there and knock him out. Oh. Oh. This is where uh, they, we all met. Like on the movie. Hey. I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my me. <laughs> you would hardly be satisfying, though. I got your back, Rocket. I am Groot. And I am Brax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon and I did hey, not. You take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off. All right. All right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. All right, then. Bye. Who is this loser? Call me Star Lord. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard of me, <laughs> especially you. Definitely not. No. <laughs> nope. Well, now you have. Please stop winking. Mm. I am Groot. Adam. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce, elm? I am Groot. Yeah, you already said that. <laughs> I can tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh, not you. 
No. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever going to see the sweet light of day again. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. Let's stay with the mustache. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I don't need to hear about your ass muscles. <laughs> it was the rodent who first mentioned it. I am Groot. Fighting isn't gonna get us anywhere. We need to work together. Hey, to admit it, Stash Lord is right. We're fighting the wrong people. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree, well, you're gonna have to eat it all. Oh, this is pretty cool. We should have played as group more often. I don't. What am I do? Oh, I'm getting the key card. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait. Wait. Use L to move. Shit. I guess right here. Huh? Oh. Is that you, Rooks? Nope. Wait, Rooks. <laughs> That's our fan, Rooks. <gasps> no, that well, that works. I'm not gonna lie. A couple of you might die, but know that I will never forget you. <laughs> or we could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship. What does people <laughs> do? I wonder what happened to that mustache. All right, that was our last opener. together we're awesome I never knew you're not a team we're, a family. <laughs> we're friends in the conventional sense but somehow it works it was the mustache yeah it was all the mustache Peter I don't think that's it it really was the mustache I don't know mantis I I really think it was the mustache. It was not the mustache. Okay, fine. It was, it was just a lot of different things that led to us being a great team. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. Then let's go get them back. Let's do this. I am groomed. Yeah, yes you are. Let's do it. Let's bring Drax back to life too, please. And Nebula. And Lila. And our mom. Episode 5. Don't stop believing. Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? 
I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. Hmm? I have an idea. What? You're going to love it. Let's check and see on uh, Drax's fate as well. We never saw him die. What are we doing? Where, uh, where are we? You and I have merged minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. It's like psychonauts. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. <laughs> uh. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. I'm happy you're happy. Oh, I'm just happy that uh, you're happy, Mantis. I am happy. Isn't this so neat? This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. Mm. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh, bridge? Yes, a bridge of feelings. Uh huh. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. Was this Care Bears? Uh, if you say so. Yeah, uh, I don't get it. But I'm willing to go along with it. My abilities as an empath will allow me to translate your emotional connection to the Guardians into a physical connection. Right. If we can reach your friend's islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Hmm. Hey, love, anger, pride, frustration, worry, pity. Well, love, of course. Da 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 da. da. Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. Explore your memories to track down the Guardians. So are these love memories? If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge. What happens if I talk to her? I can get her back. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. All right. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. Okay. Cool. Okay, you got one part of our bridge done. I can get her back, Pete. If we check out this blue forge, orb. We can I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. Poor Lila. Uh. No drags. My new family. I miss you, Drax. Curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You. You can sense Drax, but Drax is dead. I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. He's alive! You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? They love it! Of course! Who doesn't? We gotta go find Drax now. Um... Proud. I'm gonna go with Proud. If I can figure out how to do this. Proud! We're 
We're gonna sell Thanos' body. We're gonna sell Thanos' body. Well, this is easy. What I was hoping was gonna happen was that when we had like a memory of like love or anger or something that we'd like actually touch those orbs and then go into an actual memory that involved, you know, love or anger or whatever we chose. This isn't really much happening. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. This is very unsettling. Hmm. Drax is alive. That bridge right there, that's going to go to Drax. No doubt. We all stay. Honestly, we all stay because of you, Peter. You're doing great. Yep. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so deep. Yeah. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? My happiest moment with the Guardians during our adventures? Awesome. Of course. Awesome. <laughs> enough if you explore all these memories we should have what we need to build our bridges hell yeah then we are going to bring drax back and everything's going to be good we need to get nebula somehow too that'd be great that's how like hey i was surrounded by adoring fans i couldn't let them go thirsty ah good times it seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. Yeah, he cool. Destroyer has purpose once again. Drax the Destroyer has purpose once again! Yes. Drax is back. Drax is back! If Drax is somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. Yeah, we're going. Now, I'm going to need to finish this bridge for, um, for Gamora first, of course, but you've created a bridge to Drax? Fuck yeah, we have. We're going to go get him, too, after we finish this bridge with Gamora. So get over here. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. Right, cool. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her. Oh, look, I've told you I love all of these people. Back up, back up. What are you doing? Back up. We're going to get Drax. Gamora is okay wherever she is. Okay, yeah, that's Rocket. And this would be Drax, who we are going after immediately. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I'm a terrible person. Drax, oh God, I feel terrible. We all thought Drax was dead. We may have assumed too quickly. I said right away we should go back for him. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. I'm coming, Dra Drax, just- Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. Ugh. 
All right, so uh, Gamora is the one we want to find, but um, can we talk to her? Circle. Circle? It seems like an odd thing to press. I don't, I don't know what that's going to do. I don't want to cancel this out somehow by accident. So this is Rocket. Let's see what this does. about you a great deal he loves me he must really value your friendship to remain at your side I care about him too I'm glad he stuck around he's a good friend I'm getting so mushy I suspect that is why he stayed he knows how well you two get along how much you need each other he's a good boy who's a good boy so we found rocket what now there are other bridges that you've built. You should see what's on the other side. Well, we always knew where Rocket was anyway, didn't we? Okay, here we go. We're gonna find Gamora. God, there's such good news about Drax. I wish there was some way we could get Nebula back, though. That'd be great. Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? Her memory of Nebula. Oh, uh, look at that. It's an option. It's where her and Nebula still got along before... Well, before they didn't. Maybe the place reminds her of her sister. She must feel so lonely. Rocket stayed with us, so that island will probably show us the Milano. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I'm proud of you too. You did well doing this thing. For someone such as yourself. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone can connect with people as easily as I can, but I am an empath, so that is to be expected. Wait, what the hell is that? Supposed to mean? <laughs> Don't worry, Peter. This is a safe space. It doesn't feel very safe. So, I guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Drax. Let's go grab Drax. Let's go. Didn't even have to think twice about it. Well, shit, you know what? Maybe we should have taken Gamora to get Drax. Damn it. Drobin, Edge of Kree Space. Although, think about how surprised Gamora is going to be when we walk in with Drax beside of us. What about that giant, creepy worm thing? If it's still alive, I'm getting the hell out of town. I will knock the hell out of that thing. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. Oh, is that him? He actually did it. From ass to mouth. Oh god. That's amazing. You doubted me, Peter Quill. No. I'm just relieved. You have no idea how relieved I am. I mean, I thought I'd never see you again. Yes, the reasonable conclusion when I leapt from the ship would be that I perished. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? You've moved on. I don't know. Maybe this means that you moved on from your loss. If that is true, 
and it is as I had feared. Oh, son of a bitch. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kamaria. Ugh. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. Kamaria is a part of you. Seat. She's not going anywhere. I don't think that's true at all. Your memories of your family will last forever. Kamaria will always be a part of you. That is impossible. She is not a part of me. She is dead. Okay, take it easy. I am not used to being afraid of anything. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try. Enough of the death wish. Okay, I know you wanted to die, but that kind of attitude, it's not healthy. You need to give up on this ridiculous death wish. Oh, wait, don't say ridiculous. That's so death negative. the only solace I thought I could find. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians, but part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. That can wait. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family. She wouldn't want that. I don't think Kamaria would want you to get yourself killed just so you could see her. You can't just give up, Drax. There is so much left to live for. I always taught Kamaria to persist, no matter how daunting the adversary. I will fight this fear, and I will defeat it for her. Good boy. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Well, this is great. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The hell? The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala. And I have wasted enough time beside this rotting car. That is our garbage heap. It might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. <laughs> Most of that garbage is yours, Peter. Hey, is my tape deck done here? Uh, we should have gotten that worm. We got my cape, uh, tape deck. I didn't even think about it until just now. Sanctuary training installation. All right. Huh. You expecting any calls today? Uh. I do not know how you escaped the shrine, but there is nowhere you can run to now. You and your guardians will suffer greatly for what you have done. New phone? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't recognize this number. Who is this? You know who this is. Hala the Accuser. You have stolen everything from me. I will kill everyone you've ever known. Everyone you've ever loved. This is definitely the wrong number. Yeah, no. You you definitely have the wrong number. She hung up on me. She looks so sad. I can't believe she hung up on me. You're unbelievable. I am rude. Yeah, you said it. Did Hala always look that gnarly? It's as I said. The forge is taking its toll on her. Yeesh. She's coming from nowhere. We've got a hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. I'm starting to think I should be nicer to Hala. I'm like starting to feel a little bit of pity for her. I mean, was that her son that she brought back and then he Don't died? You think gonna be a little pissed at you? Then what are you gonna say? I'm sure I'll think of something in the moment. Word of advice, Pete. Think harder. 
Gamora? You've got some nerve following me here of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave, or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Can we talk this out? Oh, whoa, whoa. there is no need for violence here, okay? Let's just, let's just talk it out. I've said enough. Okay, violence it is. You said you'd keep everyone together. Aha. Oh. Hala is more powerful than ever. <laughs> that was a pretty slick move. Now Drax is dead. Drax isn't dead. What? Yeah. <sighs> they like them Why apples. You open with that. Drax I wanted this to be a surprise. And you didn't bother mentioning it before? I was working up to it. Work up to it faster next time. He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not. He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his, well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What? Ah, I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. You got this working out? You call this working out? The Guardians are scattered, Drax nearly got eaten, you almost killed me two seconds ago. Oh, and Hall is out to destroy the galaxy because of me. Don't forget Nebula. But despite that, we're all unscathed. So Drax happened to survive. But you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. It wasn't an order, he Can't asked. You even pretend to be bothered by that? I am. Show me something, anything, at least some semblance of remorse. Of course it bothers me. You're asking if I feel bad? Of course I feel bad. Then why won't you show it? Hey, what do you want from me? You want me to wander around crying? That isn't my style, Gamora. You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. You're talking about Nebula, right? And now, my sister is dead. Be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. Thanos is to blame. You were as much of a victim as Nebula was. But Thanos is to blame, not you. Thanos may have given the order, but the blade was in my hand. Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain. Drax revels in his rage. But I don't know how to get past it. All the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. You haven't hurt me? You haven't hurt me, Gamora. Ever. Everyone that gets close to me winds up hurt. If I go back with you, I'll just make it worse. I don't even know why you bothered coming here. Um, I want to go with I missed you or you're my best friend. I better go with I missed you because I don't want Rocket getting mad. Gamora, I came here because I... Because I missed you. Peter, I... I missed you too. I close my eyes at night and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. It's time to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself, Gamora. It's the only way you can move forward. 
Oh, we are doctor filling everybody. You're right.